Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, put a little light on the subject. Uh, yeah, so I'm out here in the garage and I live in a townhouse and the HOA is kind of, you know, they are what they are. And I've been working and purchasing and messing around with multiple things and antennas. Um, first off, I would like to be very clear. These, for right now, until I have my ham license, these are all going to be for DX only. So the exact tuning and sign wave and where they're best used for that that that'll come but it's not today and i wanted to kind of walk you through um i'm probably going to break this into more than one um probably probably four or five videos um maybe and what I'm going to do, let me back up here. First, thanks for taking the time to click the, hey, let's see what this old dude's doing today button and looking at my stuff. Let me turn this thing around and kind of pan around to show you, oh my gosh, what I've gotten myself into. Okay, here we go. And again, I started a conversation with okay. Let me see if I can get this thing. All right. If uh, you watched any of my stuff prior, you would probably recognize the square frame, two-sided loop antenna. I'll be working on getting those soldered together into one piece. And it, of course, is on its stand. Let me bring it out here so it's a little bit more obvious why I went this way, you can see that it is on a stand. And I may have featured that in another video where I had another one stacked on top of it, you know, connected and had, you know, Earthraker 9000 on top of it. One of the cool things about this particular setup and undoing this thumb screw is you can turn this you know, to get better reception. So, what's gonna be used in conjunction with that is a product, and it may be used on several, and I don't know if it's the right, let me explain what all this is. Copper tubing, clamps, soldering system, heavy gauge wire, and by heavy gauge, I mean freaking heavy components. The tuner that I'm trying, I'm going to try to use. Uh, that was the antenna that went with that. Parts, components, cigar, matches. These are the components on, I think it's called a buddy stick antenna. Um, I ordered these from China and they are the components from that, like our pack 12, the pack antenna. Um, I got four of the extensions and funny enough, as soon as I ordered them, they took them off eBay. And then of course wire and old faithful NOS. Um, there is an antenna complete antenna in there. I think that's the, the micro whip antenna. Then my oft discussed, but yet to be seen dipole, homemade dipole, uh, a portable collapsible tripod, a pole, a tripod, an old Shakespeare boat antenna that I ripped the guts out of, uh, back in the early days of learning to kayak and was going to make it into a very long flag so that people could see me paddling around the salt marsh. Um, 
this is going to get turned into a uh, 12 foot loaded, inloaded or linear loaded capacitance hat having, oh my God, okay? When it's all put together. Now the idea behind that one is um, to mount on a receiver hitch or just a two by two square into the receiver hitch on the Subaru to do DXing from the park or whatever. So come along with me. And there's another little surprise that I've got the, with the coil of copper wire wrapped around it. That's another little surprise. And I think I'm gonna back off here and I'm going to call this chapter one of the homemade and the purchased antenna. Oh my gosh. <laughs>